Did you know that lakes are an important source of greenhouse gases to the atmosphere? Most lakes and reservoirs around the world emit large quantities of carbon dioxide or CO2 to the atmosphere at magnitudes which are comparable to greenhouse gas emissions caused by fossil fuel combustion, deforestation, or even carbon uptake by the entire oceans. This is just how important lakes are in the global carbon cycle, despite the small area they occupy on the globe. Therefore, we must understand the mechanisms that drive carbon fluxes in lakes in order to predict the role of lakes and their greenhouse gas emissions within a changing climate. CO2 emissions from lakes have widely been explained by lake metabolism, where there is more CO2 production due to respiration of organisms than there is CO2 consumption due to photosynthesis by algae. My research is to show that this explanation is correct in lakes of low alkalinity or soft water lakes, but at higher alkalinity other processes are equally if not more important in driving carbon emissions, especially a process called calcite precipitation because when calcite precipitates, it releases CO2. To study this, I'm using high-frequency measurements technology. This technology uses buoys that are placed on the surface of lakes with several sensors that measure different parameters automatically every 10 minutes, such as dissolved oxygen, dissolved CO2, pH, temperature, and so on. I'm using this technology in several lakes across Europe, all of which have different alkalinity levels, and I'm combining this with experimental fieldwork where I'm using incubations and sediment traps to measure the rates of calcification. My result suggests that in lakes of higher alkalinity, accounting only for CO2 that is released by lake metabolism without considering the effect of calcite precipitation, Re leads to an underestimation of the CO2 that is potentially released to the atmosphere. We know that calcite precipitation in oceans is one of the major global mechanisms that regulates atmospheric CO2 concentrations. But the, the importance of this mechanism is yet to be acknowledged in lakes. So why are my results important? Because more than half of the global area occupied by lakes have a relatively high alkalinity value, which implies that calcite precipitation could be a major cause of CO2 emissions in lakes and reservoirs around the world. Thank you.